Hi everyone, I uh, just want to share with you a little project my daughter and I did. It's a uh, mirror that we created from an old window frame and some reclaimed mirror pieces from a remodeled bathroom. Uh, it's a little four pane window uh, and I'll show you in a few minutes uh, how we put it together. Uh, but essentially it's just uh, sort of painted to match the furniture and some sanding to give it a uh, vintage or, or retro look. Uh, one of the nice things about these multiple pane uh, window frames is that you can actually put something different in the bottom as well if you wanted to put a uh, chalkboard or a corkboard or something uh, that would be a, a nice addition so uh, add some character to the room total cost of this was about thirty dollars I think we paid uh, fifteen for the picture frame or the window frame at a uh, at a flea market and the uh, mirror cost nothing uh, we did have to spend about five dollars to have it cut at a local glass shop and then some clear silicon and some uh, glazing points is really all it takes. So a uh, relatively low cost project. Okay, so here's the uh, back of the picture frame. I just want to show you how I uh, did the installation. Uh, I'm not uh, any sort of a prof professional at this by any means, but uh, I did do a little research and found something that worked, at least for this application. Uh, so what you want to do with the, the frame is to, is to clean it up really well uh, here in the, you know, the corners here before you put the glass in or the mirror in. Uh, because uh, you want it to lay nice and flat uh, because you're seeing a reflection on the corners and the edges on the other side uh, anything that's not nice and flush is going to show uh, you also want to make sure that it's painted uh, a consistent color otherwise anything is going to uh, show in the reflection as well so uh, make sure it's painted white the same as the other side of the uh, the frame and cleaned it up really well and then just had these uh, these pieces of mirror cut to fit uh, this came from an old uh, mirror that was on a, on a bathroom wall. Uh, this was a single piece and I just took it to a glass shop and had it cut. That's why you see little spots of glue uh, along with even some drywall on here in a couple of places. Uh, I did not remove that because this is uh, uh, what you're seeing here, this gray surface is the actual back of the mirror surface and any scratch on this is going to show light through. It's going to, um, you scratch this, it, it, it essentially turns it into glass at that spot so uh, you, you actually lose your reflective capability so be careful not to scratch it it might even be a good idea to put some cardboard or poster board or something some protective surface over this if you think there's any chance of it getting scratched from this side so uh, to install it cleaned it up cut it to fit did a dry fit to make sure everything worked and uh, then I just put a bead of clear silicon in here. I did a little research about what to use there, and uh, a lot of the glazing putties are a dark color, which uh, just don't look good uh, with, with a mirror, because uh, you can see it from the other side. So uh, used to the clear silicon, uh, and you can still see it in a couple spots, uh, because the, the cutting of the uh, mirror was not precise. Uh, you can see there's a pretty good gap here. Uh, and on the other side, you might be able to see a, a little bit of a, a reflection of the, the silicon, but it doesn't show up as much as a dark putty. So. Uh, so put a clear bit of silicon, push these in, and then uh, filled in any of the gaps with the silicon. Uh, then I used what's called a glazing point, and here's the, the package uh, that I you can pick up at any hardware store. I think I got these at Home Depot. Uh, and these have a nice little lip on them, so you can actually push them in with a, uh, a putty knife, just like this. So you just take it right up to the wood, give it a nice little push, and it goes right in. And that'll hold it in place uh, until uh, the, the glazing putty or the silicon dries. Uh, you could then remove them at that point, but uh, I'm going to leave these in here for a little extra security. So, uh, so that's how I did the installation. And uh, with the silicone, you need to let it uh, dry for about uh, 24 hours, and uh, and then you can just uh, any any mess you can clean up with the uh, with the uh, razor blade. So, uh, so that's what it looks like. Uh, nice little project. I think it'll uh, uh, add some character to my daughter's room. And uh, Hope you find that helpful and uh, feel free to give it a try. Uh, one thing to consider with when you're buying these old pic picture frames though uh, is that they're, excuse me, window frames they'll very often have uh, lead paint on them and that was the case with this one. So I completely uh, removed all the paint with uh, a stripping compound. I didn't sand it because I didn't want to use a, uh, I didn't want to create lead dust in the air. So I used, I used a chemical uh, compound and stripped it down and then just uh, I went to the paint store and, and got some paint to match uh, the piece of my daughter's furniture and then uh, sanded a little bit on the edges to give it a, a bit of a, an aged or vintage look. Uh, that's your choice uh, whether you do that or not. 
with the older frames it's probably a good idea to do something like that because you're not going to be able to get a, a perfect finish on it anyway uh, most likely it's going to be dinged up or uh, uh, even have multiple coats of paint or potentially some sand spots on it so, um, so I, think it, I think it turned out pretty good uh, at least for a first time and look forward to the next project. Thanks.